Hi, I'm Rob from Woodward Games, and today is a bit of a special day, you could say. Here we are playing Blackout Rugby Manager, and I'm going to show you the second ever level 90 player in Blackout Rugby Manager. Level 90. There's only been one other one before, which I had probably about a year or so ago, or I can't remember. You can check out, I'll put a link somewhere to the video about the other level 90 player. But this is another level 90 player. And not only that, I am going to sell him. Yes, I'm going to sell a level 90 player. So start collecting your coins, fill your leather pouch full of those gold coins and get ready to buy my level 90 player. So, uh, this is level 90 player. There's a bit of a story behind this. There's a bit of a story behind this. This level 90 player did not come from my academy. Let's go have a look first. Uh, we're at Woodward at the pub. I changed the name from Woodward Saints to Woodward at the pub for this season because I'll be um, getting rid of this team later. So Woodward at the pub now, which shows the type of mess or disaster it's going to be in. And let's go to my squad. And in the squad here, we've got some high level players, level 83, level 84, and then level 90. Here is the level 90 player. Look, look, look at these stats here for this level 90 player. His name is Eastwold Ramblers. And why is his name like that? Well, we had a, a dear friend here that used to play Blackout Rugby Manager named Slothrop, and he's based in, as you can probably see by the flag, in, in the Netherlands. Very good player. And unfortunately, he left the game probably a year or so ago, I can't remember, or maybe a bit more. And this was one of his players, and this player was from his academy, and I think he mentioned it was like a level, <clears throat> excuse me, a level 9 uh, level 9, yeah, level 9 player from the academy. Well, it might have been 10, I can't actually remember. It's, it's long. It was before yesterday, <laughs> so yeah, I can't remember those things. So this level 90 um, player came from his academy. I think I got him in his like, level maybe 30 or something like that. <clears throat> so he was like a baby. He had nothing. And I had no idea whether what his skills or attributes or whatever they're going to, what level they're going to reach or anything like that. So I just went in there. I can't remember what I bought him for, but I know it was like a lot of money, like maybe five million or something like that, because I wanted this to have another star player in my team outside of my own homegrown star players. So here is a level 90 player. He's a star player. He's from the Netherlands. And his name is Eastfold uh, Ramblers. Why? Because I changed his name. I don't, I don't know what his name was before, I can't remember, to the name of the team that I bought it from in in memory of Slothrop when he used to play. This was the name of his team. So I bought it from, and I changed the name to the, yep, to the name of his team. So it's level 90 player, and he's not 33 years old yet. He's actually 32 years old in 15 days. <laughs> so he's not going to decrease or anything like that over the next couple of weeks or so. So... Imagine having this player in your team. Do you think he's going to help you? And this player is going to be useful at least, at least for the next four seasons. Even when he's 36 or 37 and his skills, attributes, whatever they are, they, they go down. He's still going to be a very strong or powerful player. So let's go look at his, his skills and things like that. <clears throat> Okay, first of all, he's 32 years old. Um, he's still got like a couple of seasons, uh, a couple of um, weeks. Um, he's 179 centimeters. This is ideal for a prop to have them like short. He loves his pies, so he's like 138 kilos. He's got some weight behind him, which means it, the, 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 the scrum pack's going to be heavier and it's going to help you push, push the other team over. Um, speed 60, acceleration 52, agility 75. His agility is 75, and he's not even a flanker, so that's brilliant. He can just like sidestep with everyone. 
Okay, he's a, he's a little. Okay, I don't know how little balls of <laughs> of meat <laughs> like he is, like 138 kilos. Not too sure how he does it, but he's got a bit of agility, and it's quite interesting. <clears throat> His coordination is 47. His strength, 97. Power, 88. Endurance, 86. So he's, yeah, he's like a little tubby dude, but he's going to last quite a while on the pitch, on the field, on the, in the game, okay, in the second half. Where Renath is like, you know, just panting there. He keeps going. His composure, he's like, oh, he's been to the Zen uh, temple every weekend. And he's like, oh, I mean, he's there. He's composed on the match. So he, he won't go picking fights, maybe. <laughs> okay, he might pick fights, but whatever. But he's composed. He knows what to do, you know, under pressure. When the the attackers are right near your your try line i was going to say goal line near your try line he's going to be there defending without a problem he's going to be composed like yeah i'm used to this his leadership 48 it's not bad he, he's got collected aggression which is like right in the middle and that's what i like my players to be um legendary experience you cannot get better than legendary experience he's just been around for He's, he's, he, he knows what he's doing on there, on the pitch. And let's look at the rest of it. He's got a 78 scrum, a 74 maul. You think these are going to help you? They will. Line out. He's not even a, a uh, what do you call them? Uh, a lock. He's got 71 line out jumping. If you want, he's got 63 line out throwing. So you can just put him as hooker too. He does well there. Compare these stats to your player's stats, you know. 89 rucking, 77 counter rucking, 75 tackling, 72 passing. He's even got kicking, this dude. 61 kicking. <laughs> Just in case, you never know. 69 catching, uh, 65 line out breaking, and 67 awareness. So he's pretty clued up, this dude. So this is what a level 90 player looks like and we'll go check out his his stats just out of curiosity to see how he got to be a level 90 player so he's played 1700 matches that's a lot of matches he's played 142,930 minutes he's been he's on the Competitive matches, 1,600. He scored 500 points and he's a prop. Wow. He's got 100 tries. He's held up four tries. Ah, he's had four tries held up. Yep. Uh, 28 try assists, clean breaks. Defenders beaten. He's beaten 600 defenders. No intercepts. He's gained 13,000 gains. He's had a couple of tries. Oh, four tries that have been denied. He's made... Oh, look at that. Almost 2,000 tackles. He's missed 300. Try saving tackles. Well, that's a good stat to know. And tackles held up. High tackles. Oops. But he's only had eight high tackles and eight dangerous tackles. And how many matches? In over a thousand matches. Was it 1,700 matches? So that's pretty good. He's, that's probably because he's collected. He's not aggressive or anything like that. Handling. Passes, he's done one bad pass in his career. One bad pass in his entire career. 13 knock-ons. One dropped kick. I went to, did it drop kick or something? That's, dang, that's interesting. 23 offloads. He's actually kicked it to a number. This, this, this is why you, sometimes you need kicking. I mean, it almost never happens with a prop. <clears throat> kicks into play, 28 kicks into play. He's kicked a thousand meters. Good high ball kicks. Okay. Uh, meter high ball meters kicked. He's, so he's done a little bit of kicking. We don't know why he's a prop, but I don't know. Maybe I had one of those weird tactics where I put my forwards at the backs and the backs and the forwards. Yeah, I do that sometimes. Two drop goals. What? He, this guy's even got two drop goals. I mean, how impressive is that? How many props do you know? They can they do the pro drop goal. But anyway. 
Um, look at that. Lots of scrums won. We've always lost some scrums, but that's those stats are really good. Look at those meters, scrum meters. 21,000 meters in a scrum pushing people forward. 100 of those. Lineouts won stolen. Okay, so lineout throws won. Okay, so all of these things. Malls, you can check out all of this. Penalty offenses, only 200 penalty offenses and 200 matches <laughs> and 100 matches. <laughs> no, and over 1,700 matches or whatever it was. No red cards, no yellow cards. Just because they haven't been implemented in the game. <laughs> but I'm just going to say, no, no, he's got no red cards ever. No yellow cards ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Actually, no player has. <clears throat> Look at all of those turnovers won. He probably lost those turnovers when he was younger. Young and stupid, as you do. Um, high ball turnovers. So look at all of these stats here. Look at all of these stats. Uh, he's, he's only had 40 injuries over his career. It's not bad. Or oh, plus seven, plus six. Nothing severe. Um, league matches played. 300 league matches. Eight league finals. Nine league semifinals. Uh, friendly matches played. Yeah, look at these, 1,200 ladder matches. That's how he probably got up to legendary status is because of a lot of ladder matches. Cup matches, rep league matches, okay, 78. Uh, don't know, ooh, rep tour matches, that's interesting, I wonder what that is. And World Cup matches played, four. I thought he might have played more, but whatever. Um, yeah, so these are the stats of... Eastwold Ramblers. And guess what I'm going to do? I am going to sell this player. Pretty much right now. So if you this is why you need to subscribe to this channel and get and click that notification bell. Because that's when you know that I'm I'm re released a new video and something really important can happen like this. Just saying, just saying. So, Eastwold uh, Ramblers, thank you so much for being a part of this team. I'm going to miss your sexy moustache, but, you know, no, the haircut probably not so much, but whatever. So we are going to manage this. He's got some time on his... He's still got contract expires in 100 days. He's still got like three years of contract there. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so what we are going to do is we are going to click the sell button of a level 90 player. Are you ready? Here goes. I did. That may have been the wrong button. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to sell you. <laughs> Okay, I'm, 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 not, I'm sort of nervous to do this. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous doing this because uh, I'm getting rid of some important players in my team. And just so you know, a lot of these other players are also going to be on sale uh, really soon. As in like probably this week or so. All of these level 83s, 84. So if you want, click pause. Look at some of these players that are going on sale. Over the next week or so. Look at this one. Level 73, 22. Ozzy Osbourne's going on sale. More data. Level 80. Level 86. He's going to get... This is another player that's going to get to level 90. Just saying. You can be the owner of the third level 90 player. So look at all of these. If you train them well, of course. Okay? So, yeah. Oh, and this is the, another one I bought from the same team. Um, was it? Cornel Shrov... Shrovsky. Okay, so this dude here is level 86. So all of these players, oh, Cipriano, he's, look at this, he's level 83. And he's still got like three, four years before he gets to hit. This guy's going to pass level 90 easily. This is the one you want too. So start saving your, your coins and things. And then we've got some lower level players that are buying just to fill in the space <laughs> these ones here these chilean players are also going on sale they're young and they're going on sale too yeah so uh 
this player. Where is he? Eastvale Ramblers. Now is the moment. And we're going to go to manage. Thank you for being a part of the team. And sell player. Okay, just th this is interesting. Okay, I've got one more button to click. <laughs> I could either sell him to the agency so that no one has a <laughs> I can sell him to the agency so that no one gets this level 90 player. I said I was going to sell him. I didn't say I was going to sell him to you. <laughs> no, I'm going to put him on the market for everyone. And, but if I sold him to the, look at this, if I sold him to the agency, I would get, would I would get $600,000. That's a lot. Usually you get like a, not a very good deal. So that's quite good. Okay. Here goes. Ah, listing on the transfer market now. Eastwood Ramblers is now on the transfer market. And of course, it's game over for this dude. So let's go to the market. Let's go to the market. And let's go see what there is. Let's go checking out here. And we go to the watch list. <laughs> I'm just buy look at this. I'm buying so many players over the next because <laughs> I need to because if I'm selling all my players, I need replacements because you always have to have a minimum of 22 players, I think, or 24 players. I can't remember. So I can't sell my other players if I don't have some. So I just bought lots of random younger players and players I'm selling. Look at this. This is his starting price, $1.8 million. $1.8 million. That's his initial offer. So this is totally crazy. You can see Woodward at the pub is selling him. You can see his stats are here and everything like this. I know it is a sad moment. Getting rid of these really, these been a part of my life for the last, I don't know, ages. <laughs> so yes, this player is actually being sold. Who? Am I going to see a first offer while we're live? Or well, not live, I'm actually recording this for you. Probably not. Someone's going to find us like, <gasps> level 90. Ooh, pretty. Anyway, I'm going to leave it like that. So whoever buys him, I wish him well in your team. I know he's going to do well. He's going to make, he makes a big difference. This is why Netherlands got to the, to the, to the semifinals. I think one of the reasons why Netherlands got to the semifinals in the World Cup in the first ever rugby, uh, Blackout Rugby Manager World Cup. That's where they, he's one of the players that helped them get there in the, thing, in the, in the scrums and everything. He even got a try against New Zealand, I think. He got a try against New Zealand. He got the, the match, the semi-final match between Netherlands and New Zealand, he got the first try in that game. Wow, that's how important he is. Anyway, until next time, to take care, stay safe, and as always, have an awesome day.